Welcome to City Skylines Randolph Skinopo episode 4. I appreciate everyone's feedback once again, which uh, seemed to... <laughs> it seemed to focus around my incompetence at road design, which is something I'll hopefully fix this episode. The aim for this episode is to fill in these high density areas here, make them happy. I've decided that we have to stop treating our citizens like the Ruskies did at Stalingrad. Everyone here is people, and they matter, and we want them to live a long and prosperous life. We don't want them sharing a, a rubbish bin between three houses, like they shared a moss in and a few clips. We want to let everyone know that they matter. Um, and as we start, I remember that we have 138k in the bank, we're bang on 7,500 people. Our next level up is at 10,000. We also have a full area we've basically done no work on, so we might look to uh, might look to expand this road along here. And then we'll see what we're going to do. But I think our first port of call today is before we unpause, I'm going to get some nice little uh, roads through the centre here that was uh, put to us in a YouTube comment. This bothers me immensely that it's not going straight. Don't do this to me. There we go. That's fine. So just some nice little. Uh, Intersections. Slope too steep, is it? Damn, is this, uh, is this steeper than we thought? What if we do that? I guess that's not going to happen. That that could be cool. We could do that and put some parks here. Right? Or do we put roads off? Yeah, give me some feedback. Should we put some roads off here each way? I don't know. Maybe. Uh, and then here, what I'm going to do is put some high-density um, shops on the centre. And this makes sense for that to be high-density shops, I guess. It's be like a little shopping uh, street. I think if I'm going to make that the case, I'll perhaps want to increase the density, right? Yeah. Yeah, we'll increase the density here. That works for me. There we go. That's sorted. I'm going to slam in some parks around here in the center points. My aim is going to be to try and obviously make everyone a bit happier. Um, honestly, my favorite is Dog Park, although I always forget what that is. Is it one of the bigger ones? Plaza with trees, is it this? Basketball court. Oh, maybe the Dog Park's further along. There's Dog Park. So we're going to put a Dog Park. We're going to put one... We're going to put one there. Dog Parks are life. Dogs are life. Let's slam another dog park there. Oh dear, uh, I forgot about the priority being uh, also an incineration plant, which we will probably put um, maybe there. Put that there. Maybe put two of them down. Right, so hopefully they'll get working pretty quickly. Um, right, more parks, sorry, getting sidetracked. I've already spent more than half of our money that we had uh, sitting. It's too steep here, I didn't realise uh, how steep it was, honestly. Well, I didn't, didn't actually realise how steep this area was. And um, we've got a large playground here, I'm going to slam one of them there. I'm hoping to see the, the, the happiness and the values uh, all increase here with the leisure. Of course, people are going to have to move in. Um, now that's done, we'll switch over to here. And I will put in some roads um, through the centre points here. So the centre point. I'm going to make that a crossroads if I put it there. I'll probably end up having to go back in and make them stop signs. I am going to have to go in and make this all uh, stop signs though. If anyone has a suggestion on how to better manage this, I'm, I'm, I'm all ears. I really am all ears. Um, I don't know if we should maybe put some sprawling roads out and try and make the most out of this. We should maybe actually get some offices. I don't think we have any offices whatsoever just now. Maybe that's what we could put in around here. We could put some office space on here. Have a little like campus. Eventually put our uni there maybe. Our parks are there. I expect people to be moving in short. What the hell happened? I did, I, I am forgetting, I completely rezoned all of this. There was people in this full area and I rezoned it, so I'm going to guess that they're, uh, I'm going to guess they're reasonably unhappy with me. Yeah, the population of our town just plummeted there because I basically rezoned uh, an entire, well, two, two full grids of houses. So I can get why people might be a little bit miffed and, and possibly a, a bit pissed off. Um, I do get that. I'm going to have to try and just offer some power here so that they can spread. You can see we've got a bit of a network here, which is all linked to this. We just need to try and keep them together. That'll fill in eventually. Right, that'll look after itself. It's just a matter of time. What we'll eventually have to do is we'll have to slowly empty our landfills and try and burn it all. 
Um, someone did mention in the comments quite rightfully that I have not offered a way on and off here to come this way. Um, this side they can, this side they can go on and off there. They can come on and off there. They come off there. They can't come off here on there. Maybe we should just offer a small section here. Well, we need to offer more support here, and I've got a feeling we're going to have to take away some of this and put in some population um, there, so that they've got local local jobs for local donkeys, if you know what I mean. I think everything's fine there. That this just needs time. This just needs time to spread out a bit. There's parks. It's a lucrative area. You can see the leisure is very high. People are going to move in there. It genuinely is just a matter of time. We do need to get some office space in. We do need to get some uh, some office space. I'm going to zone these so that we can hopefully put in some. Uh, we can put in some some what are they called. I'm going to zone these so we can hopefully put in some policies long term. I think it's policies they're called. I forget. Um, I'm open to names here. I've got Maple District currently, and we're obviously going to have another one here. We're going to have Maple District and then something else. It's incredibly satisfying to draw these. Even though I'm, I'm making them uneven and it's going to bother me uh, like immensely. So we have Maple and Aspen Square, Maple District, Aspen Square, which is actually a misshaped rectangle, which is just great. So if people have suggestions for names here, I'm, I'm all ears. Um, I think the other thing we can do is we can now um, put some policies in here. I think we'll go in for um, our same of the country. Land on your own parts. Uh, yeah, let's do that. That works. Um, I think I'd also like to do recycling. Or just tax income, that's fine. We'll do that on both of these. We do need to put some parks in here, so that's the other thing. We've done it on the other side, we just need to repeat it here. Um, everyone wants dog parks. Dog parks are life. We'll pop one of them there, and we'll put another one there. And then here we'll change it up. Let's put a park with trees in. Nice and... Oh no, we want that's far too big. We're a little bit too tight uh, with money for that. We'll pop one there. Um, I think we'll put a tennis court in this area. We'll pop it in... Maybe we should put it there and that could help with this, this shenanigans. Let's pop it there. See how that goes. Maybe that'll encourage a few folks in. Garbage production, 120 right. We need one more incinerator and that should mean that we're now burning more than we're uh, producing. Let's pop that there. That should, should overtake our capacity. 144. Right, we're now above our capacity. We're burning more than we're... Uh, we're burning more than we're producing. We just need to make sure they're being collected. I have had a suggestion, and this suggestion came from Amy. She has suggested that I make this all a high density road there. Maybe, um, I don't know how many lanes she didn't actually say. I'm going to assume she means six or four. So we put this all, all to that size there, and then we make this a one way system so that everything here comes round this way and back onto the centre point. I'd be curious to see folks' thoughts there. I'm also contemplating putting in a. Oh, we're out of money. I better unpause it. I'm contemplating putting in a small roundabout here and making this a little more fluent and hopefully taking some of the traffic off of that. I think we do need some office space. I think I might slam some in here. We've got zero offices just now. Um, it kind of bothers me. We'll maybe make this all offices here. Which means we're offering a wee bit of everything. I'm actually going to... I'm going to delete that. I'm going to start again. Try and make it less, uh, less steep. So if we just do... I want it to curve that way. Okay, this is going to come, we're just going to straight line it. We're going to straight line it there. And then from there we'll curve it and we're going to go up. We do that. And maybe if we just straight line it. That looks awful. I mean, it's been used and holy crap, it's busy. But that is, uh, that looks terrible. Junctions, we're going to go take the lights off. We're going to go stop signs there. We'll leave that as lights. Uh, the other places we need to change is I'm going to make these all stop signs. Actually, they might be fine. The traffic here, I'm going to leave that, yeah, I'm going to leave that short term. We're going to leave that flowing short term. We'll just leave that as stop signs. They need to stay as lights, I imagine. Um, here, we'll make that a stop sign and try and keep the... No, actually, that's fine. Traffic, traffic there's fine. I think that should be okay. Uh, yeah, that should be fine over the road. We'll make that run. So we've got a way on here from both sides. We probably need a quick ramp off. So I'll offer... 
I want to sort of concentrate it there. Do we put it here? Or maybe put an off-road there. Like that. That should be fine. So you can rejoin that. We also need a road that goes from here onto the other side. So maybe if we put that... We put that like so. And then we bring it up. And then across. I didn't realise there was such a rise in the roads. Unless we tunnel it and bring it up, we're going to have to spend a lot more money than I wanted, in that, if that's the case. You guys know I love a tunnel, though. I'm kind of a bit confused here with this space occupied nonsense. What if we just. Um... Ah! Okay, I've got it. The gradient of the road's too much. So I'm having to bring it low like that, and then bring it up. Right? I think that's what it is. Like that. This is gonna... Is this now working? Okay, this is now working. Okay, that's now working. Um, really don't know what I changed there, but something seems to have worked. So we've now got a road there, they're going on there, on that way, on that way. They can come off there, off there. Yeah, that's fine. Right, that's them now got a way in here. <laughs> we just now need to do the same here. How steep is this? So I can maybe build it around here a touch and then bring it up. It's as close as it can go and then we can do a really sharp turn here. Let's gonna get rid of three buildings and do that and get rid of one. There we go. Right, they've now got a way straight through here. They can go through that tunnel. Um, the next thing we need to do is check junctions. So that's fine there. Here we're gonna change that to a stop sign. Right, I'm hoping that takes some of the, the drama off of here. I'm trying to think, if anybody wants to go over there, they've, they've not really got a quick road off. I feel like I'm making more problems than I'm uh, solving here, but hey-ho. I mean, it looks it looks awful. This looks off. It's functional, right? We just... We can't look at this too long. We know in ourselves that this is functional, okay? We know within ourselves this is fine. This works. So, we've now got a flow through traffic. They can go through, back on the motorway or through. They can come off of there and go into the industrial area. This is this is fine. There's two roads there from our, our heavy areas. Oh wow, people are moving in. Our population is uh, now over what it was before we rezoned it all. The parks are obviously doing their job. Oh yeah, we're looking uh, looking good actually. Maybe I want to join these up more for another flow of traffic here. I may do this with just a normal street. We'll do it with one of these, a big chunky road that just joins them up. And then here I'm going to put in some... I've not really got any demands just now, which is good to see, so I think we'll just do some high high commercial. Got two cool areas there, right? I'm gonna fill this in now. I think this is our next next port of call. Gonna keep it on some nice roads. I think what I might do here is have like I might just I might just cross this. But then we're gonna have too much traffic. There's already bad traffic here. Unless we put a roundabout in here and then build off of it. We could slam around about in the centre and then build off of it. Maybe that'll take some of the traffic away from the other points. So if we put that there, and then we'll immediately get rid of this. Some of money back for the old roundabout. And then here, I reckon what I'll we'll put is some four lane roads. And maybe I'll put a small roundabout. Does that make sense? We'll put that. This is just pure building space this is going to be. Um, here I'm just going to do like that. This is pure building space. That's all we're doing here. There. And then this street's going to go that way. I might make this uh, I might make this like a posh area. Less housing. Here I'm going to have like a nice little road. And we'll just join that to there. Um, here we're going to have low density and we're going to make it as posh as we can. 
Right, and then we'll put some nice, uh, nice fancy parks, and we'll try and make this a, a really, a really wealth area, really wealth area. Naturally, they'll need tennis courts. Which goes without saying. Would we remove houses for some tennis courts? I feel like that is a definite yes. Um, that's nice building spots here. I'd rather remove one of the, one of the slightly less desirable ones. Japanese garden. Let's put one of them in. Japanese garden. That can be the, that can be the pivot point for that. There we go. Look at the land value. Shazam. So yeah, hopefully this will end up being where our, our, our wealthy residents stay. Looks like a Pokemon. One of the... Uh, are they called unknowns? I forget their name. What have they got our first resident? The Maple Residence. That looks uh, looks just lovely. Nice big big old property there. I believe uh, Kyle did suggest that we have six under as the name of... Uh, the name of the cemetery, which is just great. People just need to not die. This actually filling in very nicely here, very nicely. We do need to we need to get some population out. I need to use this as well. We've got nothing here. I think I'll delete that just now, and then we'll put in here our uh, we'll put in a roundabout here. We might actually need one of the bigger roundabouts here. Maybe if I just put that there, and what we'll do is we will delete. There. I feel like that makes sense. And then this is just a two lane road, isn't it? So that can come along here. And put that there. This has given us a bit of breathing room so we can expand out into this area when we're ready. Honestly, this is a mess. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, this is a mess. And I'm going to change that from that to a stop sign. And then what I tend to do here is just go stop signs all around and keep the. the the traffic on the roundabout is what's going to be free flowing. Here, there's going to be people, I guess, slowly moving in. That is a cool looking building. The Barlow Residence. Hell of a, hell of a size. And then across the road, we've got the Garland Residence. Very nice looking buildings. We've got two, two properties here now. The Groves and the Maples. Good times. Oh, and here, the Glades. So this is, uh, this is filling up. Okay, with, oh. We're now, a, we're now a small city. We've got access to trains, new unique buildings. We've got some uh, some more policies. The hydro power plant. Right, that's how we're going to start the next one. We'll build that bad boy. The question is, friends, do we save up some money and build our bank? Do we get our flood defences and then build it? Or do we put it in and then see what we're dealing with? That's the, that's the big question. Here as well, I think I'm going to build a four-lane road here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Gonna build that along the coast a bit, maybe have a bit of breathing room this time though. Right, we're making nice bank, we're at six grand. We also have not touched our taxis as yet. Our taxis are still at the absolute basic. You can see we're making most of our money from residential. First place residential, second place industry, third place commercial, and obviously lastly is office spaces, pretty much as you expect. Garbage is our highest outgoing costs. Um again doesn't really surprise me. But we're balancing the budget, that's, that's what matters. We're balancing the budget and we're growing. We've got some of our, our lovely looking areas here. We've got our, 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 our dense population there. I wonder if we should do something similar here. We're bringing the traffic on and off so that they can access both of these areas. I've paused the game so I can always delete this. That just means that... I oh know, that's so stupid. We basically made a crossroads there. It, it makes sense to do them off of this, right? So if we go, go on there... I kind of want to buy this area here. We buy this area, we can then work this in, and we can we can work this area in its entirety. Yeah, because I'd want that road to come along like there, you know. I feel like that looks good, but we can't do that just now, unless we come through the gap here and then get rid of the power. That power's now gone. I just need to accept that. We're actually joined up very finely by that road there, so we can keep an eye on that. But there's a way off here now. We need a way off here for them on this side. So I might. Um, People get mad at me because I use tunnels so often, I just think they're really cool. So we're going to come off there and go down. There we go. We're going to then curve that. Hopefully um, around here. We'll come round to like there. And we're going to try and come up. Shazam! Okay, so that's a, a joining road there. That is a hell of a curve underground there, isn't it? That is a breakneck turn. So then come off there, down there, then come off there, down there. They can't rejoin here yet. Um, might put that. 
Oh, they can. They can rejoin here. I'm talking absolute. Um, so what they now need to be able to do is rejoin onto there. So to do that, we probably want to bring some of the... We might as well use this place, right? We bring that up. Or do we go under and come round? I like tunnels. I, re I really like tunnels. This should be fine. We can do that. And then go down. There. Like so. And that's going to come round there. Oh, perfect. Oh, that was, uh, was actually kind of easier than I thought it would be. It looks messy, right? But it's functional. Look, I just realised I've not looked at the traffic map yet. I might regret this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right, okay. Okay. 88%. I'm happy with that. This, I am going to upgrade the infrastructure off slightly. Right, hopefully that opens it up a bit. Blind has requested that we get a Talladega. I can't remember how you spell it. I think that's right, and if not, it can be like an ironic roundabout, so there we go. And he also wanted Daytona, but I don't know if we have a roundabout big enough. In fact, this works. This can be Daytona. We've got Talladega and Daytona. I think, I, I'm pretty sure that's not how you spell it, but it'll work. It uh, immensely bothers me that I've not upgraded this. So there we go. This is a mess. Okay, Jesus. What have we done here? Oh my god, what have I done? This this needs oh god. Oh this is a uh, this is actually disgusting. This is making me feel quite uncomfortable. Stop sign. Stop sign. Stop sign. Traffic lights there makes sense to be the traffic flow in there. And there we'll do a stop sign. I'm not sure that's gonna help actually. I can improve this. Half the problem is these are parked cars. These are parked cars. So you're parked and you're at home, Terry. You live there. Why why would you leave your car there? There's there's no logic to that. This place isn't really filling in, but I guess it's a slow burner for us. This is filling in really nicely. It's starting actually starting to look really nice. Buildings are oh crap, power. Oh no. Oh god. Power's uh, going out. Okay, I feel like this this is a nice place to end for this episode. Um Yeah, we have filled in. We've filled in a few of our voids that we had. Obviously the the two grid areas, which are now called Maple District and Aspen Square. I'm wide open to suggestions for new names here if anyone has them. We've upgraded some of our traffic situations here. Anyway, that's episode 4 finished. I feel like we've made some, some nice progress. We've filled in our zones here, we've added a bit of personality, we've got a bit of expansion on the cards. We can buy another zone, but I feel like I want to fill everything we have just now. I feel like we might end up making perhaps two lines here. Two, maybe three lines of industry and then we'll maybe change this over to some residential here. Um, and we'll maybe put in like a strip here where we can put some entertainment, maybe some unique buildings, some industry, things like that. You can see overall, our leisure is pretty high. The plan is, at the beginning of the next one, we'll save up the money and we'll slam in this dam. I've actually not checked how much power we can get here. Oh my god. 448 megawatts. The current here must be crazy. So thank you everyone for watching episode 4 of our playthrough of Skylines. Randolph's Canopla is at new heights with 10,500 citizens. We have a surplus of over 6,000. Is it per week or per day? I still don't know. And we've got a bit of a reservoir of cash together of 74 grand. The reservoir will help me segue into our next project, which will probably start off the next stream by damning this bad boy. We're going to need a mass of money together, but I think this might be our, our I think this might be our power situation solved. There's a fair current here that I don't think we've actually realised until now. And I'm thinking what we'll do is we'll dam this so that the flood problems won't be here, they'll be further upstream. Although I don't know if that will spell disaster for this bridge. But we don't own that yet, so that's not our problem. So thank you everyone for watching. I appreciate all the feedback and leave your comments for suggestions as always. And I will catch you on episode 5. Toodaloo!